going on, Merc fam? In today's video, we're going to be reviewing WandaVision Episode 6. Damn, I felt like this week has been dragging its hairy ass. Like... When can the week be over with so I can go home and watch WandaVision right now, all right? So before we get into that review, I want everybody to like, subscribe, tap the notification bell, and just hit all so you're updated for my weekly videos, okay? Now, I want to talk about some of my fans on uh, on Instagram spoiling things, man. Like, damn, lighten up. I don't want to know all the details scrolling on my timeline. I almost had to put my phone down today and not pay attention to what people were posting because... Like, I want to watch it for myself, and people kind of don't have any discretion, kind of like myself. But I'm going to give a full spoiler disclaimer. So from this point on, it's fair game. You have plenty of time to go ahead and watch the video. All right, guys, so let's jump into this thing. So we start off by seeing them in this almost comical 90s, maybe 2000s if you wanted to debate that, uh, kind of sitcom, and everything's in beautiful color at this point. Nothing is, you know, changing anymore. You know, I don't think we're going back any anytime soon. It's just gonna keep going forward until maybe, like, their timeline reaches now, you know? I don't know. I just had that thought at this very moment thinking about it, but we see them in this almost open world now they're using their powers they're doing whatever they want you know the kids are having powers of their own you know one of them is super fast just like quicksilver um or pietro and then the other son uh, i don't know if it's timmy or tommy or billy you know like it's just so many different names but you know one of them has powers like wanda and the others got powers just like quicksilver and it's just like very free now you know, it doesn't seem like it's a big cover-up. Um, and we got to learn as well that Quicksilver was damn near conjured up by Wanda. And when I say that, you know, they have this dialogue in this scene. It's a Halloween episode, you know, if I didn't mention that. Um, clearly, I have on my costume. But in uh, the episode, they have this conversation where, you know, he's kind of like, you know, show up, cause you a little trouble with the kids, give you grief ultimately. Isn't that what you ask for? And of course, Wanda want to blow him off with these little one-liners. Well, where's your accent? Like, hey, Shawty, where's your accent? Okay, like, you walk out that bubble, all of a sudden, you're like, oh, get to the chopper. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, Wanda. You can't be over here doing stuff and then getting mad at people for doing the same thing. Like, you're not being crystal, crystal clear with us at, at any point anyway. So... Vision is also like off the scale with trying to figure out what's going on. Like he's full fledged. I'm lying and I'm going for it. You know, I want to I want to find out what's going on and it doesn't matter to me. I know that I have to manipulate the manipulator Wanda so that I can go be free and kind of figure out what's going on. And that's what he did, y'all. He manipulated her because she's distracted with Pietro. You know, I hear a lot of people saying this is Mephisto and it's just getting really annoying. We don't know who the bad guy is. Y'all thought Agnes was Mephisto and she's clearly someone that Vision on his live found out that she's just a regular person like everybody else you know Vision pulled the whole curtain from the show you know he pulled the panties up we're like God well, you know we didn't want to see all that but now we know okay and so does Vision he literally walks straight past the street Wanda was warning her children no, don't go past because that's like kind of her boundary point and Vision walks through and if I didn't say spoiler alert, like, spoiler alert, like, yo, he literally dies again for, like, a third time. I feel so bad for Vision. He just keeps dying. And she actually expands her bubble, saving him, bringing him back to life to ultimately have to die again. It's just so out of control, you know? But she has control, if that makes sense. Like, things are just, like almost like un, unfixable at this point, but she's able to fix it. It's just so chaotic and beautiful at the same time. And, you know, Dr. Lewis, Agent Wu, and uh, Monica Rambo get booted off because it seemed like Sword has this like secret thing going on and they don't want them around because they're good guys. Damn it, it's just so thick. You know what I'm saying? Like the plot is just so thick at this point. And it ends with a cliffhanger, guys just like we knew it was going to be, right? Like, I knew when I was watching a certain point, I was like, let me not get too excited because they're going to flush the toilet right now and it's over, you know, until another seven days, 
Yo, but tell me, guys, what did you think about this episode? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? If you haven't seen it, it's streaming on Disney Plus and other not-so-legal websites if you feel the means to not pay the $12.99 for Disney Plus. I mean, come on, guys. Like, we all do it, okay? But, hey, until next time, it's been a pleasure, but I'm out.